All right, what's up everyone? Here's an LG Quantum with Windows Phone 7.8. Now those who are on AT&T know that this update is not being provided over the air for the Zoom software. So first of all, well first of all, look at the, these are the, the smaller tiles, which those who have been wanting the update will become very familiar with right away. That's only available in Windows Phone 7.8 and Windows Phone 8. So let's go to settings. Let's go to about. And as you can see, it is Windows Phone 7.8. Uh, that OS version is actually the latest version released of Windows Phone 7.8. So it is completely up to date as of, as of, as of, as of this time. So let's go ahead and exit this out. So how do you get this done? This is actually not a tough process. Uh, I do have another LG Quantum right here next to me. So I'll show you right now. Let's turn this one off. And here we go. Uh, this one doesn't even have a SIM card in it. And that's why the, the time and the date is all jacked up. But here you have it. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into phone, open up your dialer, you press pound, pound, six, three, three, four, pound. Now, this is going to prompt you for a password. Password is the same for every LG Quantum, so it is 277. Six three four pound star. Whoop, wait a second. Okay, pound star pound. There you have it. Two seven seven six three four pound star pound. Enter. Now, this is going to bring you to the factory menu. You're going to want to press here, is you're going to want to press number seven engineer menu. In the engineer menu, you're going to want to press other setting. In the other setting menu, you're going to want to press edit registry. Now, this is where your work is going to be done. Now, in the root path, make sure you press that and select H key underscore local underscore machine. In the input subpath, this is very important. This is the most important step. Type in backslash system. Another backslash platform. Backslash device targeting info. All one word. and another backslash to close it. Type it in exactly as shown here. Um, I'm not sure if you have to put a capital letter on the beginning of each word, but I just did it that way and it worked. So the next one is going to be input key and select data type. Here, what you're gonna wanna press, what you're gonna wanna enter is mobile operator uh, we really need swipe or swift key on windows mobile windows phone 7 Oper operator
uh, make sure that this button right here says string. Uh, just make sure that it's string, not D word. Okay. Input data. You're going to type in. Excuse me, I'm trying to hold the camera and, and do this all in one hand. So, in input data, you type in 000 hyphen 88. See? That's what it should look like. Those are your settings right there. Now, of course, press the back key to hide the keyboard. Now, you type in set. What this is going to do is, you see that mobile operator string down there? It's going to change to 000-88 instead of AT&T, like it's the default you know, as the phone is defaulted to to show. What this is going to do is, is going to, when you connect your phone and and load it up to the Zune player, to the Zune software, it is going to bypass uh, whatever AT&T claims is the latest software update. And they will start searching for all updates ever released for the LG Quantum. Um, when I when I upgraded my my other quantum, it was about six or seven updates. So it's going to be quite a while as your phone's going to be installing, reinstalling, and it's going to be it's going to be quite a hassle uh, as far as as far as that's concerned. But other than that, this this is really much pretty much all you need to do uh, as far as editing anything within the phone. So once you have this done and you've pressed set, just do it one more time to be safe. You're going to press your Windows key, go back to the main screen. I already have it set to airplane mode, but if somebody know, doesn't know how to do that, let's go to settings. See airplane mode, make sure that it's turned on. That will turn off your Wi-Fi, it will turn off your Bluetooth, it will turn off everything. Make sure it's set to airplane airplane mode on. After that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold down the power key. Oh, wait a sec. Hold down the power key. And restart. Now, when you restart, just make sure that it's still on airplane mode. Uh, before you connect your your quantum to your to your computer make sure you have the LG quantum drivers installed I'll link them in the description and just the latest version of the soon software and you should be good to go I mean it's, it's a real straightforward process uh, again it's going to be about six or seven updates but it will turn uh, your Windows Phone 7.5 or whatever version you're running into into this Windows Phone 7.8 if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below I'll respond to everyone and if you have any comments leave those as well uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. Later.